Hello everyone, my name is Meng Yiwu from Puff Security RD team. Thank you all for joining this webinar. Today I am very honored to have this opportunity to introduce you our new product, Puff IoT, the Puff based secure coprocessor. Puff Security announced the Puff RT early last year. After that, we added a sequencer, cryptography engines, security protocols and key management unit based on PuffRT. By this way, we make a new secure core processor, PuffIoT. This presentation will also discuss the design concept of PuffIoT, design architecture, and how to use it in a secure SOC. In addition, the application of PuffIoT will be briefly introduced. The Puff IoT can fully implement secure operation, secure storage, further secure supply chain, and silicon lifecycle management. The bell supply chain part will be introduced in another webinar. I hope everyone can get some valuable information from my today's talk. This is my agenda today. First, I will quickly introduce some basic knowledge of the hardware root of trust. Second is the design concept of Puff IoT, its architectures and how to integrate it into a SOC. The third part is how to use Puff IoT and some applications. The last few pages are about some comparisons and advantage over other solutions. Before Puff IoT introduction, I would like to recall and introduce hardware root of trust again. The security systems can be divided into three levels. Application layer, usually related to applications or services. Second is the software layer. Third is the hardware abstraction layer, includes firmware, API, and hardware design. The security of the systems comes from a design code, the root of trust, which is usually implemented using hardware. The hardware root of trust needs to consider to follow three important principles, trusted storage, security ring, and secure operation. First, for trusted storage, it's a secure OTP with temper-proof design. Second, for security RIM, it can be built by dedicated logic, RAM, volatile memory, and to use entropy from PATH or two random number generators to protect the steady storage, dynamic storage, and crypto op operations. Third, for secure operation, the operation shall follow secure policy and use crypto engines and protocols to protect the root of trust. Here, let me introduce and recall the NeoPath technology of eMemory again. eMemory announced NeoPath technology at 2018 ISSCC. By using the design of two most capacitors in the quantum tunneling competition, the device coin with entropy was invented. Through statistical analysis from mean entropy using NIST SP890B and NIST SP822, NeoPuff can be defined as a perfect steady entropy with ideal randomness, uniqueness, and stability. NeoPuff is a real hardware puff, no need any helper, immediately ready in microseconds and can achieve zero-bit error rate in all process, voltage, and temperature corners. Regarding traceability, because the precise energy control is used in the entropy generation process, there will not be any physical marks generated, so there is no physical or electrical analysis that can reverse NeoPath entropy. In addition, according to the gamma-ray radiation experiment, 
Leopold also shows the characteristic of radiation hardened, which is suitable for from car, industry, military to aerospace applications. Moreover, Neopov can mass production from 5 nanometers to 0.15 micrometers without worrying about reliability and yield loss. First of all, I would like to explain our main concept for building the Harvey Root of Trust. From the diagram on the left, we create a chaotic ring by using steady entropy from PATH, dynamic entropy from two random number generators, and temper-proof shell to protect the central OTP with sensitive data. Unknown steady and random numbers can well protect static stored data. The dynamic random number can protect the macro operation and can be used for their further security operation for secure SOC. Combined with anti-fuse OTP, this hardware root of trust will be a trusted block that can resist hackers' attacks. We call this product PuffRT. This is the first IP of Puff security. PuffRT directly provides a temper-proof shell to random number generators, secure storage OTP, and Puff. It's very easy to adopt in security systems that require the three basic primitives. In the diagram on the right, we have further added NIST compliant cryptography engines based on PuffRT to provide security boundary for key storage and key management. It's a secure compressor to support trusted storage, secure path-based boundary, and secure operation. Currently, Puff Security has designed these two IPs to support each security systems based on this protection concept. Today's talk, I will focus on Puff IoT. This slide quickly shows Puff IoT's features and how to integrate it into a system. It has several highlights. First, it has the old features of PuffRT with integrated, secure, trusted storage, two random number generators with an embedded jitter noises, and Puff for inborn HUK and a testation key. These inborn keys can greatly save the costs for key provisioning and building secure clean room. Second, it has cryptography engines around the PuffRT. It can support key generations, block ciphers, digest hashing, symmetrical and asymmetrical authentications, and key exchange protocol. Please note that PuffIoT's cryptography hardware accelerators already passed NIST CFVP certification. Third, the Puff IoT has designed XI and HB master DMA, directly memory access, for unloading CPU for moving data and embedded MMU memory management unit for classifying different keys, policy, and secure range. Fourth, all algorithms and protocols are designed using embedded sequencer with specific microcode. No CPU is required. It's easy to use for any systems and no OS or boot code is required. It's a drop it's a drop-in replacement design and easily enhances the SOC security. Puff IoT is suitable for open secure systems, closed systems or lightweight IoT. Finally, because Puff IoT itself has an unknown HUK to protect each system, the local key from Puff can be used to encrypt the entire system, which is equivalent to directly extend the secure boundary to any subsystem. General, secure, general storage, such as fresh memory, 
can therefore be further converted to secure storage. This table shows the PAF IoT spec for your reference. It features one on chip HUK of 256 bit, high speed, and low power to random number generators, AKB Secure OTP, a standard APP client interface, DMA channel in SI host or HB host, and a memory management unit for controlling key temporary storage and policy. The cryptography in Pop IoT has public key accelerators, block ciphers of AES and SHA-2. Therefore, Pop IoT can support private and public key generation, key exchange of ECDH and authentication of ECDSA, followed by NIST curves. Of course, symmetrical authentication of CMAC or HMAC are included. Puff IoT also support NIST standard key de derivation function and key wrapping function. We also provide firmware and API for use by the driver layer and application layers. They can achieve secure boot, key management, and more modern video device onboarding. Most importantly, Puff IoT with cryptography engines pass the NIST CFVP certification on algorithms and protocols. The temper-proof design in PAFRT passed the third-party vulnerability assessment. This page wants to emphasize the main difference between PAFIoT and conventional SOC with discrete crypto elements. First, PAFIoT has dedicated secure logic storage and operation. The architecture follows the guideline of PSA, platform security architecture, that has its own secure boundary for sensitive data management. The keys and sensitive information are well protected and only accessible in the PAF IoT. No any software or public working memory can touch the key. The secure boundary of PAF IoT is quite robust and pure hardware with less vulnerabilities. Over secure operations such as key management, block ciphers, authentications, and integrity check can be done by PAF IoT. Second, it's an integrated IP with all-in-one digital functions such as cryptography engines and secure policy. An analog IPs of PATH, OTP, anti-tempers, and entropy source from jitter noises. We want to build an easy to adopt IP to create a trusted zone to easily enhance and meet the security requirements of any systems. The use of PATH IoT does not require a CPU or boot code, which also means fewer CPU vulnerabilities and is easy to adopt in any system. Third, PATH HUK can help convert commodity fresh to secure fresh and convert North OTP to secure OTP. The on-chip HUK is a unique on-chip fingerprint. This means that the SOC and storage media have been paired to prevent tampering. In contrast, in a conventional SOC, since keys are distributed everywhere, including insecure if you storage, it will be a difficult task to cover all vulnerabilities. You have to do a lot of protection work on key distribution, working memory, and execution threats in core. Moreover, since there is no entropy in the conventional secure system, this means that sensitive data is not protected by any entropy. Puff IoT can be used as a secure coprocessor to any system. There are already two mainstream CPU architectures 
that have already used the path security solutions. Whether it's an open system with trust zone in ARM, a multi-zone security environment in RISC-V, or an ARM or RISC-V closed security system environment, it can be easily supported. Puff IoT provides an integrated hardware root of trust and directly provides security functions to the main CPU. Puff IoT can support various security applications. The following is an example of what Puff IoT can do. Because Puff IoT has an on chip fingerprint path, it can use block cipher of AES with an unknown secret HUK to provide secure storage by data encryption. Because Puff IoT has the NIST certified hardware cryptographic engines and protocols, by using the verified firmware and API, secure boot, key management from seed to keys, and first trusted secure channel can be easily achieved because it has innate attestation private key and public key pair. In addition, because Puff IoT has a secure OTP inside, Puff IoT can be used to fully support chip lifecycle management from key generation, secure deployment, field use, and to the end of life. As a trusted root of trust of, of hardware, Puff IoT can perfectly achieve the task of semiconductor supply chain and life cycle management. Next part, I want to introduce and emphasize the two main features of Puff IoT. The first one is about key generation. Compared with traditional UID, HUK, or attestation key injection, Puff IoT can use the enrollment operation to obtain PATH fingerprint without having to spend additional codes for having a certified secure clean room for key injection. In common practice, we would use untrip to random number generators or HSM to generate keys then write into OTP or non-volatile memory. It requires a certified clean room and secure OTP to protect the entire injection process chip control, and the key access policy. By using Puff IoT, there is no writing route of Puff IoT to inject the cloned key since Puff is natural born, cannot be revised, and cannot be reversed, which means that the entire key generation process has less vulnerabilities, saving costs, and can easily prevent key and chip duplication. This page introduces another important applications of Puff IoT, which can assist the data protections of fresh memory. A SOC system usually has three kinds of fresh memory, namely embedded fresh, no fresh, and non fresh. Normally, no fresh is used to store code and firmware, so it needs quick random access and code execution. Non fresh is usually used to store large capacity data. For example, in advanced AI chips, it's used to store the training models and algorithms software. Regardless of whether it's code or data, the assets need to be well protected. An existing thread model for counterfeiting is that hacker can read out the storage from the standard interface of external fresh or use reverse engineering to get the data in fresh memory cell. Puff IoT can protect embedded fresh, no fresh, and non fresh by leveraging block ciphers and on chip hardware unique key. Even hacker can read out the content or remove the fresh chip to combine another device. Since the content is encrypted and no paired key, the system cannot be further executed. Therefore, 
SOC and fresh memory are paired and can further prevent counterfeiting. This page describes in more detail how to use Puff IoT to protect fresh memory. Puff IoT has three independent accessories, which can work with Puff IoT to protect fresh memory. In every case, Puff IoT provides local hardware unique key from key derivation function to each accessory IP. First, Puff XIP can help convert NoFresh to secure NoFresh. Code in NoFresh is locally encrypted and can be executed directly. We call it SIP, execution in place. Puff EF can help convert embedded fresh memory to secure embedded fresh memory. Code in embedded fresh is encrypted using local key from Puff. Third, Puff ENC can help convert NAMFresh to secure NAMFresh. Assets are encrypted in NAMFresh memory. Since the data capacity is large, it needs DRAM as buffer to store the encryption and decryption plain text data. The table on this page shows the current IP products provided by Puff Security, including Puff RT, Puff IoT, and Puff Fresh related solutions. First, Puff RT provides integrated macro with interface, control logic, secure OTP, two random number generators, and Puff. Puff IoT, as a secure companion IP, provides PSA Puff based. And craft for providing comprehensive secure operation. Puffresh is a solution, as I mentioned on the previous two pages. It's Puff IoT plus the corresponding accessory IP to protect different fresh memory types according to different architectures, bus, and required algorithms. There are different options that can be configured and customized. Here is a comparison between Puff IoT and other S embedded SE solution. Traditional embedded SE only provides digital function of algorithm and operation. As you can see in the middle part of the table, SOC users need to find the remaining analog IPs and then integrate them into a security coprocessor. This means a lot of integration works and resources. However, Puff IoT is a complete IP that integrates all IPs. Not only digital secure operations, Puff IoT has all analog related modules, such as secure OTP, HUK or attestation keys from Puff, two random number generators with entropy sources, and anti-tempers have been included. Customers do not need to worry how to obtain those IPs. Just use Puff IoT and go for mass production. This is the summary page. I want to emphasize again the advantage of using Puff and Puff security solutions. First of all, Puff Securities products can provide on chip HUK private and public keys without costly secured clean room. Secondly, Puff RT or Puff IoT has a comprehensive anti tempers design, which can resist invasive, semi invasive, and non invasive attacks. Third, our solutions already have standard interface. Controller, OTP, two random number generators, secure operations, firmware, and API. It's a one stop shopping to get what you want. Fourth, the Puff security solutions have obtained third party certification from Resecure and NIST CAVP, which means that IP security and correctness are guaranteed. Finally, all the e-memory and Puff security solutions can be used in almost all foundries and processes. 
That means using Puff security solutions will be easy to fulfill your customers' plan for technology migration and cross foundries porting. This is the last page of my talk today. Currently, Puff Security and eMemory are promoting the IP Go free evaluation program. It already contains all digital designs, documentations, and testing vectors for functional verification. In addition, we are going to provide a NIST certified Puff IoT versions and provide it in a non NDA way. Users can implement Puff IoT with our certified algorithms and protocols into FPGA board, or to combine their own design to emulate a real product. If you are interested, please visit Puff Security or your eMemory account manager. You can use it to complete the design before the real physical design and tap out. This is all the content of my presentation today. If you have further questions, please let me know. Thank you.